Alrighty. Felt like it was necessary to make another one, so... Um... I'm gonna come at you with four this time. Uh... Which one to start with, though, is the real question. I guess we'll just start with this one. Alright. Took this on campus in this building at SIU, where I go to school. And... I thought this staircase is bad, was badass, so decided to be cliche as fuck and take one of those iPhone pictures. So we're going to start it off with one of my presets that I made. Uh, I'll go with that one, that one looks good. Okay. Right away, I don't really like the white balance, it looks a little too blue. So bring that back. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, be right about there. I'm gonna reset all this. All that needs to get reset. I need to fix that so my preset doesn't do that for me anymore. Okay. I don't know if I want to keep more detail in my coat like that, or if I could just leave it out and get away with it. I guess I'll bring it up a bit, take down the whites, and maybe bring up the legs. I'm going to lower my curve a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. Then for some reason, I don't really like the overall color of my hand, so I'm going to try to change the orange in that, maybe take it away a little bit, then brighten it. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. Probably up the clarity a tad. Okay. I like where this is going so far for sure. I'm gonna maybe raise the highlights just a little bit too. And uh, maybe just bring down the exposure. Yeah, that looks way better. Way better. As far as sharpening, it's always random for me. I kind of just zoom in. See what looks good. That, that looks good right there. Then I always mask it every time. Okay. Then this picture is just begging to be vignetted, basically. And then I'll raise it up one time, vignette a little more, and then feather it. Okay. That looks good. Maybe lower once the exposure. Yeah. Leave it right there, see the before and after. I like that a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. Definitely keep that one. On to the next one. This is also taken at SIU. The building with that staircase is actually right here. Right there. I took this on campus with my buddy Pedro, he's actually my roommate. And yep. Gonna edit this portrait of him. Get rid of this crop. I'm not gonna do that yet, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with faded. I like that one. It's like one of my favorite presets I've made, honestly. I think. Uh, increase the clarity a little bit right away. I don't usually do that for portraits, but I feel like it's necessary for this one. It's already a really good picture, though, honestly, with just that preset. Up the highlights. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That looks better with the shadows regular. Let's just get a little super sharp. Super sharp. That's what I like. Alright. Go to his face on here. Just up that so it's just tack sharp. Don't need that much because this picture is already hella sharp as it was. Oh. That honestly looks good. Feather that. No, I'm gonna leave it right there. That was an easy one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna lower this just a little bit. Looks just like a little overpowering right there. Yep, that's it. 
Looks good. All right. This was taken in St. Louis at this really cool graffiti wall place. My friend took me to it. My college is like two hours away from St. Louis, so I went there for the first time recently. I got this shot at night of, I don't even know what this is, to be completely honest, but I just thought it looked cool, that's for sure. So, let's see what we got here. Huh? Go with Faded once again. It's my favorite one. Right away, that just honestly looks awesome. Only thing is, it's just not very straight. Uh, and not really in the middle. There, now it is. Uh, I don't like how much I have to crop it, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Uh, clarity. Nice, that looks good. Honestly, I'm going to probably decrease exposure just a little bit because it's at night and I really want to stress the fact that it's at night. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to sharpen that up for sure. That looks good. That looks good. Mask it. Yeah, okay. What is this? I don't know what that is, but it's got to go. Spot remove that. Oh, probably get that toolbar back so I can. There we go. Okay. Um, doesn't look too straight to me still. I've sat here for literally a half hour just trying to straighten pictures before. I feel like I want to take up the highlights a little. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, definitely want to vignette, as always. Just a little bit at least. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it still doesn't look freaking straight to me. All right, that looks good. Before and after. This is a picture of my cat that I miss so much back home in Wisconsin. And I cannot wait to be out of school so I can see my cats again <laughs> at home. Her name is Shady. So I'm gonna start probably probably using faded, let's be real here. That's what I've used for every single one so far. But green does look good. Yeah, never mind. Take that back. Right away that looks friggin' awful. I can't even see your face anymore. Black cat. I don't like doing that. So I'm just gonna use a brush to bring out her face. Don't want that. Let's go with exposure. And then bring up the shadows and start using that. Okay. There we go. That looks better. I'm just going to do it on her entire face. Let's see, but she also looks really purple to me. So I'm going to take out the purple and put some green in there. And then maybe. Since she's black, yeah, okay, that looks good. I might just do this to her entire body, honestly. No, never mind. That looks awful. Maybe over here I'll do it, though. Take some away right here on this side of her face, because there's a lot of light. It looked really good as it was. Uh, it doesn't really look right, though. Keep it under here. Yeah, it still doesn't look right to me. I'm just going to do a new brush, and then leave the shadows how it was, but mess with the white balance of hair, give it a little bit of a warmer look like that, okay, perfect, and I'm going to do that to the rest of her body too, give it just a little bit of a warmer look, it looks better to me, 
Because I like the white balance of the picture as it is. Gonna go over. All right, that looks good. Gonna increase a little clarity. Bring her out just a tad bit more. Highlights and see what that does. And then bring those down just a little. Shadows I might bring up a little. Yeah. Whites, probably bring those down a little. And blacks, bring those down just a tad. No, yeah. Super sharp picture already. Come on, slow computer. There we go. That looks good. Ask that. Then vignette. That exposure just to compensate for the vignette. Yeah, that looks good. Huh. Uh, I feel like her eyes are really like gorgeous. So I'm gonna have to make them stick out a little bit more. And she's really like when you zoom in, wow, she's dirty. <laughs> Cats. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Just coat these really quick. And then I'm probably going to add saturation to her eyes. Make them pop. And then clarity just to make it stick out even a little bit more. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay. I uh, guess that's all I really need to do. That's the original. Yeah, maybe get rid of this a little bit. Oh, uh, that's too green now. It look good like that. I feel like I should do something about the white balance though. All right, I like that. Shady. And that. This is the four photos I edited for you, for your viewing pleasure. Let's go through it one more time. 